大家好，欢迎回到天天话题加拿大版风华资讯的现场，我是主持人吴景。刚才上半场呢，我们很荣幸啊，为您请来了英国文化协会雅思官方卑诗省的负责人 Alex Rusalimsky。那么他刚才呢，给我们做了一个非常详细的分析。So Alex, I want to continue to ask you. Ah,、uh, we often heard about IELTS exam have this academic and general training.、Mm. So what's the difference between these two?、Uh, very good question.、Um, essentially,、um, the academic version. Is designed、um, and is used for test takers and students that are applying to universities,、uh, colleges, and also for professional registration with、uh, for certain types of employment.、Mm -hmm. For instance, like doctors. Exactly,、uh... doctors, physios, dentists,、mm -hmm. uh, pharmacists.、Um, the academic、um, version is. Uh, I would say it's a little bit more challenging,、mm -hmm. uh, particularly the reading and the writing tests.、Um, the listening and the speaking tests are actually exactly the same as、oh. the general version. There's no difference,、mm -hmm. but the reading test、uh, and the writing tests, the actual questions are different.、Mm -hmm. um, the types of、uh, questions are different as well. So.、Um, The general training test is used for immigration purposes.、Mm -hmm. um, so the reading and the writing components,、uh, the the types of questions might be a little bit more basic.、Mm -hmm. uh, whereas with the academic version, they might be a bit more technical and. Academic orientated. Oh, 那 Alex 刚才呢有给我们分析了一下，就是说这个雅思考试它是主要呢，它有分成两大类，一类呢是学术类的。那么学术类的话，主要是、呃、比方说你要想去念大学呀、啊，或者是要去一些啊、呃、专业的机构，比方你要是医生啊，这样就是需要有些专业资格的，那他需要参加呢这个学术类的考试。那另外的一种呢，就是说是一个培训类的。那培训类它现在主要使用的范围呢，就是呃移民了。那这两者的最大的区别是什么？就是说你在考试的时候，那么读和写的话，如果是学术类，它它的这个难度系数会高一点。但是听和说呢，基本上来讲呢，和这个培训类的是一样的。All right. So, um, I also heard about when you're taking the test, you can choose uh paper based or computer generalized. So, what what which one is better? Um, good question. Um. There are some key differences between these two different、um, ways of taking IELTS.、Um, so the paper-based version,、uh, well, that's what it used to be known as.、Uh, recently, it's it's actually known now as IELTS on paper,、oh. um, but it's the same thing.、Um, is a traditional.、Um, On paper exam. So you are giving a pen.、Uh, yeah, pen uh, and uh, paper, uh, or, or paper pencil and paper. Pencil.、Um, mm -hmm. And whereas the IELTS on computer, what was、uh, formerly known as computer delivered,、mm -hmm. um, is you take it, you take the listening, reading, and writing components on a computer.、Mm -hmm. uh, the speaking test is still the same. Ah,、uh, so speaking、uh, is still in is person. You're not talking to a computer. You got it exactly. <laughs>、um, and this actually comes back to、um, a few years ago when IELTS、mm -hmm. were、uh, conducting a lot of、um, surveys and、uh, from previous test takers to try and improve the test.、Mm -hmm. And、um, it was just you know it was、uh, found that there was a lot of demand for that the ideal. The、English language test、uh -huh. is where you do the listening and reading and writing on computer, but the speaking test with a with a human being. Ah.、Oh. Um, I would say the 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 greatest or the most important benefit、mm -hmm. of the IELTS on computer test is that the results are issued much much faster.、Mm -hmm. uh, for IELTS on paper, the results are issued thirteen. Thirteen days. days. Yeah, so wow, almost two、long. weeks. Yeah.、Uh, whereas IELTS on computer, you get the results three days after. Ah.、Oh. So if you take the test on、uh, Monday, you could get your results on the. But do you have a、Thursday. limit, like how many tests you can take? Like for instance,、no. within a year, so you can take. If you wanted, many, you could a, take tests every four days on computer. As long as you have money as improve. well, right? There's if, a fee. If, yeah, of course,、yeah. you have to pay the fee again for、yeah. each time.、Mm -hmm. uh, so that wouldn't be the smartest way to to do it.、Mm -hmm. um, but 
it, it can be very useful if you're applying, let's say, to a certain university and the university has said this is the score that you need. Mm -hmm. um, if you're very close, maybe if you take the IELTS on computer, uh, you get the results faster, you still might have another one or two weeks. If you needed, you could take the test again to try and improve your score. Oh. 刚才 Alex 有跟我们讲到了这个，就是说你在参加考试的时候，它有两种方式啊，就是非常的，我觉得非常实用的一些啊小窍门啊。他就说有一种是传统的，就是你有考卷的，你是真的是在纸上答题的。然后呢，因为最近这几年他们呃这个官方呢也听到很多的反馈，就是说希望说其实可以把这个啊听啊就是听这个读还有写呢这几个这三个部分呢，是不是可以在电脑上？所以现在还有一种方式，就是说这三个考项呢，你是通过电脑进行的。然后说呢，你还是得跟一个考官这个面对面的。但这个呃，如果说你要选择用这个电脑方式去考试的话，它有个好处就是说呢，它这个成绩回来的特别快，然后三天你就可以知道成绩了。所以说，如果你要想申请学校，比方说这个成绩回来你觉得不太理想，还想再考一次的话，可能这个时间就比较好。那如果是啊、呃、传统的这个书面的考试，可能需要要十三天，差不多两周的时间。所以说这个也是给这个观众朋友呢来做一个参考啊。啊、uh, ，So now I want to ask you about Tips. We also we always talk about tips. Sure. So if I need、uh, the score, and you know I don't really have such a long time to prepare for it,、yeah. so can I like you know increase my scores, for instance, within a month? And what are the practical tips?、Um, it's definitely possible to improve your score in a month,、uh, provided that you put put in the work and the study.、Mm -hmm. um, For example,、uh, we actually offer an online preparation course,、um, which is very good and receives excellent feedback from students. And、uh, because it's online,、uh, it, you can you can the student can actually、uh, follow the, the classes at a schedule and time that suits them. So if they want to do 30 minutes on a Monday morning and then a few hours Monday evening、mm -hmm. and continue on the Tuesday and or do all of it in a couple of days,、um, that's totally possible.、Mm -hmm. And、um, this online course, it actually still has three、uh, practice speaking tests with an instructor. Or, uh, uh, online, online,、uh -huh. uh, for example, over Zoom、uh -huh. or a similar system,、uh -huh. um, and the instructor will give the student feedback and tips、uh -huh. based on those practice speaking tests.、Um, and in addition, it also、uh, includes around ten written assignments where、uh -huh. the students can submit written assignments, and the instructor will review it. And provide feedback and comments on how to improve、mm -hmm. uh, the writing.、Um, so, you know, that's just one example of how enrolling in a, a course like this,、mm -hmm. uh, which is designed to be done easily in one month,、okay. uh, could could significantly improve、uh, the band score, probably by at least one band. Oh, wow!、Um, And if a student has more than one month, which would、mm -hmm. be ideal, let's say they've got two or three months,、mm -hmm. um, they can enrol in a in a more comprehensive course,、uh, which may have more material, and you can really improve the score maybe up to two bands or、oh, two、wow. and a half, which、wow. which could be life changing, really. Yes, wow. 那刚才 Alex 也有跟我们分享了一下，就是说我们其实很多人可能想说，我可也许没有太多的时间，我可能只有一个月的时间，那我要准备雅思考试，有哪些实用的小窍门呢？他刚才有提到说，那现在是有在线上提供这个啊呃,呃教学的一个课程，就是帮助你。那其中呢，这个课程就是有全面的，包含了这个啊四个方面，啊、呃、像是这个啊、呃、写作的这个方面呢，那你有可以有这个十个小时，而且这个课程是在线上的，大家可以随时在你啊、呃、需要的时间呢来去。学习，呃，那另外呢，这个课程有其中有个特别好处，就是说我们有讲到你在雅思考试的时候，你说的这个部分必须要面对面见一个真正的考官的。那么这一套教材的话呢，它也是可以呢在线上给你提供，就是三个小时的，你可以跟啊像是通过 Zoom 或者是其他的一种方式呢，可以跟教官面对面的去做一个交流。那教官。
外也会很及时的给你一个反馈打分，那这样就是帮助你呢去提高。但他说、呃，如果说呢，你这个是有超过一个月的时间，可能你有两三个月的时间去做准备，那么还有提供一个就是更加的一个详细的、比较呃更复杂的一个培训的教程。大家呢，如果说选择那一种的话，有可能你的这个呃等级啊，就是说他用了这个 band score， 就是有些呃可能你可以跳啊、呃、升。呃，一级或者是两级、三级，就是剩一分这样子，所以可以可能呢，就是当然就是时间越久的话，可能你这个成绩，当然前提是你自己必须要努力。I I think、uh, we're approaching the end of the show, so、okay. I just wanted to ask,、uh, you know, if you have any other tips you would like to share with the audience. Um, I would say、uh, the the best tip that I could offer is to. Uh, set a realistic、uh, expectation and、um, and schedule for the、um, preparation.、Uh, when do you want to get your score?、Uh, so think about you know look ahead and and to plan、uh, so that you you have time to enroll in some sort of preparation course.、Um, y- you'll do much much better if you spend. Uh, even one or two weeks preparing, and doing some practice tests,、um, and some practice speaking tests. And if you're in an, a course where you can practice, you'll definitely do much better on the day of the test than if you just kind of book the exam or book the test and don't、uh, do any preparation. So that, that, those are my final words: is allow some time to, to enroll in a preparation course because it really makes a difference. OK， thank you very much， Alex。好，那么最后呢，总结一下刚才 Alex 跟我们说的，他还是要提醒这个考生啊，你还是要给自己准备一些时间。另外，他特别的建议大家呢，你最好是呃做一些这种呃练习的，这个等于像是模拟考试题，可以帮助你在考试的那一天呢，可以取得一个非常好的一个成绩。So once again， thank you very much for on our show， and、uh, I believe our audience really enjoyed the tips from you。呃，好，那么也非常感谢呢，观众朋友呢收看我们这期节目。如果你有更多的啊、呃，希望了解更多相关的信息，也请给我们反馈。我们接下来也会呢做一些更具体的每一集的节目，针对不同的问题。好，非常感谢您的收看，我是吴景，我们下周节目见。